Story Time with Miss LaPari. Today's story is Even Stephen and Odd Todd, written by Catherine Castaldi, illustrated by Henry B. Morehouse. Even Stephen lived on the edge of town in a two story house with a four bicycle garage. He had six cats, eight gerbils, ten goldfish, and a flower garden with twelve sprinklers. I'll have two loaves of bread, said Even Stephen when he went to the bakery. At the library, he checked out four books. At the post office, he bought eight stamps. Even Stephen loved everything to be even. There's nothing odd about him, his neighbors told each other. One day, Even Stephen heard a knock on his door. He looked out the window. It was Cousin Odd Todd. Even Stephen pulled down the shade and turned off the lights. No one is home, he shouted. He heard three knocks. He heard five knocks. Then he heard seven knocks. Stop! Stop! Even Stephen cried out twice. He opened the door. Odd Todd, said Even Stephen. What a surprise! Hey, cuz! came a voice from behind three odd shaped suitcases. Guess who is spending the summer with you? Even Stephen looked up and down the street. He looked behind the bushes. He looked under the welcome mat. He did not see anyone except Odd Todd. It was going to be one long summer. The next morning, even Stephen got up at eight o'clock sharp. He was very hungry. I will make pancakes for breakfast, he said. If I make four pancakes, I can have two now and save two for lunch. If I make eight pancakes, I can have four now and save four for lunch. Even Stephen smacked his lips. Counting pancakes made him very, very hungry. He decided to make 12 pancakes, six for now and six for lunch. Just then, Odd Todd woke up. It was nine o'clock sharp. Yum, I smell pancakes, he said. Odd Todd rubbed his stomach 13 times. He went into the kitchen. Even Stephen was washing his plate. He did not see his cousin. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Good morning, cuz, said Odd Todd with his mouth wide open. Even Stephen's mouth fell open, too. He stared at the plate of pancakes. Now there were only three odd pancakes for lunch. What's so good about it? Even Stephen snapped. He went out to work in his garden. Even Stephen loved his garden more than anything. Today I will plant six rows of petunias, eight rows, honk, honk, honk. Even Stephen looked up. Odd Todd rode by on a tricycle with three wheels, five different colored streamers, and a horn shaped like a parrot. Odd Todd waved with one hand. He was not watching where he was going. Odd Todd rolled straight into Even Stephen's garden. Even Stephen's face turned beet red. Two puffs of smoke came out of his ears. My prize four-leaf clovers, he shouted. Look what you have done. I'm really, really, really sorry, Odd Todd said. I'll buy you lunch, he added. Even Stephen thought it over. It was almost noon. Odd Todd could not get into trouble as long as they were together. The pair of cousins headed for town. Even Stephen and Odd Todd went to the pizza place. I would like four slices, said Even Stephen. Two with onions and two with olives. I would like three slices, said Odd Todd. One plain, one with extra cheese, and one with gummy worms. Even Stephen looked at his cousin's pizza. There were nine pink worms on it. 
nine squishy wiggly worms. His face turned green. You look a little pale, cuz, said Odd Todd. You should get out in the sun more. Even Stephen and Odd Todd walked to the ice cream shop. I will have two scoops of double dipped chocolate chocolate, said Even Stephen. I will have a triple nutty fudge sundae, said Odd Todd. Extra nuts, please. Even Stephen went to look for a seat. Odd Todd brought the ice cream. Even Stephen took a bite of his ice cream. Then he saw something odd. It was the nuts. There were exactly eleven. Nuts! he screamed. Who put nuts on my double dip chocolate chocolate? Even Stephen's face turned blue. Four puffs of smoke came out of his ears. No need to thank me, cuz. Odd Todd smiled. They were extras. On the way home, even Stephen saw a sign in the flower shop. Perfect garden contest. Big prize. I have a perfect garden, said even Stephen. It's perfect because it's perfectly even. He wrote his name on the contest list. Hey, cuz, check out this plant, said Odd Todd. Even Stephen did not answer. He ran home and turned on his 12 sprinklers. Then even Stephen took a nap. He dreamed about winning the big prize. Even Stephen woke up and went to his perfect garden. The contest judge would be coming soon. Even Stephen counted his six rows of petunias, his eight rows of daisies, his 10 rows of sunflowers, and one row of cactuses. Each cactus had five long, sharp needles. Even Stephen's face turned purple. Six puffs of smoke came out of his ears. That's it! Even Stephen screamed. I can't take you anymore, cousin. You are too odd. Just then, the contest judge came over to the garden. Odd, hmm, yes. But I like it. We have a winner. He handed Even Stephen two tickets. Two tickets to Twin Lakes, Even Stephen smiled. Now who shall I take on this trip for two, he asked. Don't worry, cuz, Odd uh, Todd said. My three bags are already packed. The end. Thanks for reading along with me today. Remember to subscribe below to hear more stories. Have the best day and remember to keep reading.